All right, so we're gonna start by talking about Robin Tomakulkoff's article about the power of words in wartime. So first, I wanna make sure that we are kind of touching base with the biographical sketch, because that's where we learn a little something about the author, okay? So I just wanna point out the idea that her main goal is to raise awareness, switch hands here, raise awareness, about how language is used to create and maintain insidious power structures. So what that means is that language is creating a sense of who has power and who does not, okay? But what I think is really important here is we're talking about create and maintain. And so the idea is how do we do that? How do we create power within language and then how do we maintain it? How do we keep it the same? Keep it the way they originally wanted it, okay? So this article is pretty short, but I did want to kind of point out some of those parts where we're talking about creating and maintaining and like why we want to, we want to do those things. Let me get a page to say, there we go. So one of the reasons why we have to create it, right? is this part right here. Human beings are social animals, genetically hardwired to feel compassion towards others. Under normal conditions, most people find it very difficult to kill. Meaning that this isn't natural and it has something, the idea of like killing others is something that we have to um, create. The idea that it's okay, right? That we have to get over that idea of um, the innate queasiness of killing someone, okay? So, as we kind of go through the text, we see some examples of how these ideas are created, right? Recruits must be persuaded. I mean, this is how we're starting to create that power structure. Okay? Persuaded that killing other people is not only acceptable, but even honorable. So we do see that this is an action, right? Persuaded. And when you persuade someone, right? Let's say you want to convince your parents, you want to persuade your parents to get you a dog. You don't ask once, right? Persuaded would mean that you go through an entire argument. You probably do it a lot. You go above and beyond, right? So when we see persuaded, we know that it's not happening one time. Okay, so then again, we go through a lot of different uh, examples of how this is done and, and what it does. Uh, but I want to go to another part where we see where we need to kind of create this. So the Conrad Lorenz suggested that more clearly we see other members of our own species as individuals, the harder we find it to kill them. So that's, that's kind of the problem in war, right? If we see them as individuals, we don't want to murder them. Uh, so how do we create a system where it's okay to murder them? And we have that answer here. Um, so as we look through this text, we see um, both how it's being done in these examples, uh, but also uh, the fact that it has to be done over and over and over again. And now I'm not, so here we have another word, trained. If you've ever trained for something, you don't do it once, you do it, you know, a million times, a thousand times. So we see that this is something that is a pattern. This is something that is overall kind of working through these ideas you know, using these terms and ideas over and over and over again um, in order to create this power structure of like who is the enemy and, and who is okay to kill, okay? I hope kind of that broke down some of Lakoff's article for you. If you have any other questions, let me know.